All right, welcome back to Realism Overhaul. We're here today with the Nero 5 on the launch pad, ready to take a crew of two into orbit around the Earth for at least two days. In the previous episodes, we saw the build for this rocket, and we had four test launches. All in their own way, kind of a failure. The first three, we were unable to bring the orbiter back to Earth safely. The parachutes didn't deploy until we fixed the script eventually. And then the fourth launch, we actually had an engine failure of the stage you saw burning there. And I haven't been able to recreate that engine failure. I think it was, I think it was just on a whim. I think it was test flight being test flight, but we were able to safely bring the orbiter back to earth. The parachutes deployed, everything seemed nominal. So here we're Apogee kick, just to bring us into a circularized ish orbit. And we are in orbit. Nero five is going to stay here for at least two days, but Pretty much it's up to the crew. They can stay here for as long as they want. We had a nominal launch, nominal staging events, and we're just left spinning around Earth. And around 10 days, uh, they decided to call it quits. They thought, you know, the cramped space of that thing was just a little too much for them. So we performed our retro burn. We're about to jettison the service module and left to just drift back into the atmosphere. And I tried to make this as close to Florida as I could, uh, but because I didn't really do this in that timely... Well, actually, no, because I did this in a timely fashion. Um, see here, I was able to aim sort of to South America, the coast of South America. So we'll let this, we'll let this play through. And with the success of the Nero program, our eyes turn to what comes next. And that, of course, is the moon. Uh, we are looking to send the Nero program to explore the moon in orbit and land a Kerbal on its surface. But before we can do that, we need to send more probes. So I had a few contracts for a Mooner flyby, a Mooner orbiter, and a Mooner Impactor. And so I devised the plan of combining all of this into a single rocket. We'll send up a probe that will have two smaller probes connected to it. One will be decoupled on a impact trajectory with the moon, the other a flyby, and the third will perform a capture burn around the moon so it ends up in orbit. Built an entirely new rocket with enough delta V to put this payload in orbit and waited for 
the inclination relative to the moon to be as close to zero as possible before sending the Mooner IFO into space. Decoupling that first stage there, the launch thus far is entirely nominal. Everything is working perfectly. Now we're gonna activate the avionics, test out the camera, make sure everything is online and ready to go as we circularize our orbit here. And we separate from the first stage, deploy the solar panels and face them towards the sun so this thing stays alive until it reaches the moon. And then the rest of the mission is a go. We're going to plot an impact trajectory with the moon and let go of the first probe. And then we're going to change our trajectory so we fly past the moon, let go of the second probe, and the third probe will be remained to capture around the moon and orbit. And all three contracts will be completed in one mission. The first probe has nothing on it except for an antenna and a small camera. Uh, I believe D-Magic does have some science experiments for impacting the surface. However, I don't have those parts unlocked in the tech tree quite yet. The second probe, however, has a plethora of science experiments because I believe this is left to orbit the sun. It flies past the moon and out of Earth's sphere of influence. The third probe is nothing much, nothing other than a uh, probe core, some solar panels, engine, a fuel tank, and a communications dish. So it is left as a communications satellite around the moon, and it will help blanket the area of the moon with communication when I send Nero out to the moon to land and investigate. And of course, any other probes I decide to send to the moon as well. This is left to leave the moon's sphere of influence and leave Earth's sphere of influence and collect lots of scientific data on its way, and once it gets in orbit around the sun as well. This is the first object that was, at least purposefully, um, sent outside of Earth's sphere of influence into the deep unknown. And there will be much more to come. And with that, I will leave you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and peace out.